Hello my fellow felines, this is Kitty Cat Plays with Yarn here, and welcome to another speed build video. And in this video, I'm going to be furnishing a shell by my friend Hip Hip Renee. And uh, you may see me replacing a bunch of windows, and that is because she originally made this shell uh, for like a university thing. It's um, it's supposed to be like uni housing or whatever, which is great, but I don't have university and I still desperately wanted to furnish this. So I kind of mentioned it to her. I was like, hey, can I like still do this? I don't have university. And she just told me that I can replace doors and windows and uh, some of the like siding and stuff because you may have seen at the very beginning um, some of it was drywall on the outside, and that was because she used the, like, stone from uni also. Um, but yeah. So, uh, you may have noticed that jump cut really quick, and I just cut out working on the floor plan. I didn't change the one that she had too much. I'm pretty sure, actually, the only thing that I changed about hers was I split the big main room there into the kitchen and the living room. Which is where I was going to have it anyway, but I just felt it looked better if I split it. Also, I do want to note at the, uh, sort of beginning of, the, of this video that, uh, I may have, uh, lots of cuts in my voiceover in this one, and that's because, um, I'm either, like, getting a tiny cold or my allergies are messing with me, and I don't quite know which one it is. So I've been like coughing a lot. My throat's like scratchy and not fun. So if you notice lots of cuts in the audio, that's why. But uh, this house ends up being uh, three bedrooms and two bathrooms with a laundry area. But you can sleep five sims here. So don't worry about that. And we also have like a little outdoor area with a bonfire. I think I put, do I put a bar? No. I think I put like one of the bubble blowers out there and I put some other stuff out, out there as well. And there's like a chess table and like enough um, skill objects. So your Sims will have plenty to do and uh, have a fun time there, I think. So right now we are working on the living room, and um, the common areas are more dingy and like kind of gross, and the bedrooms are very Ikea and very cluttered, and I imagine like a lot of it is just stuff they've had like their entire lives or like most of their childhood or whatever, and then they just got like lots of Ikea furniture. Um, and maybe their parents helped, but I don't really think so. Uh, so as far as the bedrooms go and, like, the terms of who sleeps where, um, I did- I made up some pretend- I made up some majors in my head because I don't remember all of them that are actually with the pack. So here we have a communications major, an art major, a science major- um, a veterinarian major and then like a fashion designer magazine editor type thing. I don't quite know what that one is, but, uh, you know, I imagine that person would end up going into the stylist career. And, um, so the stylist career person and the vet share a bedroom. The science major has their own room. And then the communications major and the art major share a bedroom, which I imagine uh, they don't get along too well, the art major and the communications major, for whatever reason. Um, I just kind of, they ended up there because that's just like how whoever owns this building was like, okay, you two are up here, whatever, I don't care. And uh, their bedroom is the one bigger bedroom upstairs, and they end up actually having a, a divider. So it's almost like two rooms, which I really like. And then um, the, the vet major and the fashion major, I guess, have the bedroom that goes in through the living room, and then the science major has the one through the kitchen. And uh, I actually kind of imagined... This may be breaking Renee's rules, because her rules were like, um, 
I can't even remember what she said. Something about having uh, beds for five sims. So, um, I don't know how well this is going to go over, but I imagined that the vet major and the stylist major were like a couple. So I have a double bed in that room instead of two separate beds. So I don't, I, I kind of broke the rule, but also, uh, I don't know. I feel like I didn't. <laughs> Maybe not, maybe, I don't know, we'll see, but um, yeah, and now we're working on the kitchen, and this is one of the few times I actually went through debug, because I wanted some like dirty plates and cups and things, and I also grabbed some pizza boxes that I placed down already, because I imagined uh, that these people don't really care too much about how their commons er common areas look. Um, I mean, it's not, like, disgusting or anything, but it's not really that cute either. And you may notice that with the kitchen, I'm kind of placing things very deliberately and not, um, like, going over decisions too much. And that's because I actually already did this once before, um, but I didn't end up recording it because I didn't press the start button. So I did this one twice. And, um, yeah. Oh, and I also really love what I did here with the broom and the ironing board. I just put some, like, cobwebs at the bottom of them. Like, they don't really use them at all. And I thought that was, uh, pretty accurate for college students. At least some of them that I know, or just don't care. Um, <laughs> and I actually dated this guy earlier this year, and, um, this is mildly based off of his apartment, like, all the clutter and stuff, like the kitchen at least, um, because they just didn't care about how their kitchen looked, and it was, wasn't a great time, honestly. So I did cut a few things out of this video, like I said in the beginning. I ended up cutting out a floor plan, the little bit of landscaping I did. Renee did most of it, but I just added a few things because um, I had a handful of things missing when I, uh, loaded it into my game because, like I said, she, she built this for university specifically, so I had, uh, quite a few things missing, honestly, and so I cut the landscaping, the floor plan, which I didn't really change, um, and I also cut out all of the, like, floor tiles and the wallpapers. I cut those out as well because it took me a little bit to figure those out, but I really like how that turned out also. I feel like the the brown walls are kind of like very dingy, but in the best way. I'm glad I'm getting this voiceover done today because I feel like by this time tomorrow, my voice is going to be absolutely gone. And I'm not ready for that because I actually have things to do this week and I'm really frustrated, uh, like tonight, day I'm recording this, A, my voice will probably be gone by that point, uh, I'm going to my boyfriend's parents' house for, to watch a WWE, um, pay-per-view, and we talk a lot during those, and then on Saturday, I'm getting a tattoo, visiting my grandmother, and going to a Christmas party. So, um, I hope my voice at least returns before then, because my boyfriend's family will understand that my voice is gone, but my tattoo artist probably won't like it, and my grandmother won't like it either, um, and people at the Christmas party might understand. It's my boyfriend's work, uh, Christmas party, which I'm really excited for, actually. Uh, I'm going to look very cute, and I'm doing my nails, um, because if you guys don't know, I really love... Uh, doing my nails like I add tips and I do them like all fancy and stuff and I love it and um, It's a really good time and I keep them on for like two weeks two and a half weeks and I'm obsessed with doing them uh, and I have lots of Lots of stuff that I still want to get but you know beggars can't be choosers after all so I think we are almost to the point where I start working on bedrooms, uh, but first I just cluttered up the area at the top of the stairs a little bit, because I imagine like some of them have just like some random stuff that they don't really want to put up anywhere, so they're just all like, okay, this is going to be our little like storage area, even though they don't have a proper storage area, which is fine, you know, they're college students, I don't 
I understand. And I also put a book bookcase up here because there isn't one anywhere else and I figured that would be a good idea. Um, so here I am thinking that I'm going to put three bedrooms up here because it was the biggest one. But I actually, like I said, end up uh, putting a double bed in one of them downstairs. And this was just me trying to figure out the floor plan because I did want to put three a desk for each sim in here. And I end up doing that in all the bedrooms. Uh, every sim has their own desk, which is helpful. And if I remember correctly, each sim also has their own computer, laptop. Uh, and most of them have their own, like, dresser area. Uh, these two bedrooms downstairs have the walk-in closets. We're about halfway through this voiceover, and I am dying. <laughs> this isn't a good time, but I'm determined to finish it, because I need to get this video up tomorrow. <laughs> so, there's that, um, and I actually need to do things today. I need to, like, do dishes and cook and meh. Um, I'm gonna try to make some cookies today, actually. Uh, no-bake cornflake cookies, and there's like peanut butter and cornflakes in them, and it sounds delicious, and I'm really excited. <laughs> and uh, if I get them done in time, I- well, even if I get them done today at all, because I need to do- uh, make other food as well. Um, but if I am able to do those today, then I'm going to probably bring some over to my boyfriend's parents' house, uh, because- uh, my someone over there just had um, a minor surgery like they're fine they just can't really get up and move around too much so yeah um, but now we are working on the bedroom for the couple and it's pretty basic uh, they just have like a little bit of clutter everywhere and I imagine the person that has like the green chair is the one that's the the vet or whatever and then the pink chair is like the fashion career or whatever you want to call it i don't even know um but they have like makeup and stuff on their side and then the other one has like the pet statues and stuff um and there's a big pause here and i don't quite know what that is <laughs> so i apologize i tried not to but i guess i guess that didn't work and here is the science room and this person ends up actually having the elemental collection thing there as well. Oh, and I forgot I put a rocket in the in the little uh, yard area because I figured like they want it and maybe uh, some of the other students here help them with it just just for something to do, you know. And you know, I pulled out all of these things thinking that I was gonna put them all in here, but it didn't work. I did end up actually keeping the archaeology table though. Um, so I figured they also, like, I mean, archaeology is a science, obviously. So, like, I was just kind of unsure what else to put in here for them. But I thought that worked pretty well because, like I said, archaeology is a science. And I figured that is something that they would enjoy doing. And maybe they are planning after they graduate to go into the jungle or something. Um, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I know that's a really kind of random thing, but I thought it's a cute idea. And also they have the future cube, which I've never used before, I don't believe. But, uh, you know, they have one, so there's that. And I just made this room very colorful to go with the bed because I imagine this person just in general is pretty colorful. And uh, they have lots of the science-y posters that we got with Strangerville because, I mean, that's obvious. Um, and I did use actually quite a few, uh, quite a bit of Strangerville stuff in here because I used like all those posters and then most of the windows and doors and like gates and stuff as well because I thought those matched the look that Renee was going for in general um, because she did post a video of this shell and I thought it worked pretty well. So I was excited to do that. And I actually used this really colorful painting from City Living. And that's one of the swatches I don't get to use very often because I'm scared of how colorful it is. I have a feeling that I am going to be paying for this. My throat is like getting very dry and mad at me right now. And I'm not excited for it, but I wanted to get this video out sooner rather than later 
because I don't want you guys having two Sims 4 top fives in a row. But that's probably what's going to end up being put up on Wednesday versus a cast or another build. Just because, frankly, doing another voiceover right now would probably kill me. So I think I am going to get some tea when I'm done with this because um, that usually helps. I put like green tea and honey and I don't put any milk or anything, uh, which is weird for me because normally whenever I do tea, I put milk and sugar in it. But uh, I just brew the green tea and put some honey in and I don't even need sugar because the honey is so sweet and it works perfectly. Uh, so now we are working on the communications major and the art major. And uh, on the left side, we're working, we're, um, that's the communication major, and the uh, right side is the art major, and right now I'm just looking for a good divider, and I ended up using this one from City Living, and I really like it actually, and uh, the color scheme for the communications major is like very red and black and white, which is very basic, but I thought that's kind of how they are, they're like very professional and whatever. And uh, they actually end up having a green screen behind them uh, from the Moschino stuff. And uh, that's because, like, they have, you know, they have uh, the YouTube station. So uh, I imagine they had a green screen. And then the art major on the other side of the room, that color scheme is just very colorful and uh, just crazy and all over the place. And they have, like, quite a bit of clutter everywhere. And, um is basically the complete opposite of this one. And I know I said earlier, like, they're, they don't really like each other, but I imagine, like, at some point they become friends because they share a bedroom and they kind of have to. Um, I mean, maybe not, but that's kind of what I would hope for if I was playing in this house with them, just because, um, I don't know, I feel like that's, that's a good thing to hope for. And uh, I use that painting for Moschino stuff also, because I really like those actually, um, more than I thought I would when I initially saw them, but I love them. And like I said, we're on to the art major side, and this person, like I said, lots of bright colors. Everything is a different color here, I don't think anything matches with each other um, in the best way. And obviously they have an easel because they're an art major, so. And... And, uh, yeah, we are getting pretty close to the end. We're just gonna throw in some screenshots at the end of this, and then, um, we'll be done. We're just throwing some of those canvases in there, because I love to use those anytime I have anything, like, with, um, with a sim that does art. Especially because, like, you know, the done ones are cool. And, uh, I think that's it? No. What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. I built this, like, two days ago. And I have no idea, <laughs> but I think I am going to leave this video here. Thank you, Renee, for this gorgeous shell. It was such a fun, fun time. And I'm going to link Renee's channel in the description down below if any of you are curious. Um, but I am going to leave this off here, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, friends. I hope you guys are having a perfect afternoon, evening, or whatever, wherever you are in your neck of the world. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to become a pop parent because I post new videos all the time. And I will see you all in the next video. 